All right, Nate, you're back here in Summer League, and of course, you know, you've already had a taste of the league. You've played a little bit. You've been in the G League a fair bit. Um, you had a great game against the Raptors. That was the Raptors' first Summer League game. You crushed them. You guys, you know, the, the Bulls, you guys won. Yeah. Um, so how does it feel like to be in Summer League right now this year? Man, it's a cool event. Yeah, it's a great event. Got a lot of people here, got a lot of connections, and it's, it's cool to be on national television, try to get an opportunity, and, you know, try to take full advantage of it. So happy to be here. Okay, walk me through your journey, because obviously you're from Nova Scotia, yeah. Halifax. I'm sure there's a lot of pride there. You have to wear it, because it's hard to get out of the East Coast and be, you know, even at the level that you're at yeah, right now. So yeah. walk me through how those all those steps happened. Yeah, I left home at age 15, because like you said, not a lot of people come from the East Coast. So I knew I had to go down to the States to get some recognition to play D1. And from there, I just kind of bounced around a little bit, kept working, and uh, got, got a stint with the Hornets. And from there, I've just been grinding, trying to, trying to get back to the league. So... Hopefully me doing this and we'll bring some, some notoriety to the East Coast and so the young kids don't have to leave home like I did. Absolutely. And then you also like you play at Delaware College yeah. and like you're actually the first from your school, from your alma mater to be at this level yeah. right now. So even talking to you, talk to me about like what does it mean to kind of be, you know, almost like an underdog coming from the East Coast, coming from Delaware. Yeah, no, I've always had a chip on my shoulder, you know, that's been a, a big thing to me. I like being the underdog. I like people okay. underestimating me, and then I come in and start, you know, showing what I can do a little bit. But, you uh, dropped 14 on the Raptors. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> Nothing crazy, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I like it. I like it. I want to I prove to myself, not to anybody else, really. I want to prove to myself that all this work I've done my whole life is going to pay off, so. Absolutely. And so what do you make of then, you know, because coming from where you come from is uh, it's already hard enough, as we already talked about, but like, what do you make of the emerging Canadian talent that you just see continuously growing throughout the league? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I think for me, it started with Steve Nash back in the day. Yeah. He was a hero of mine, like he gave me hope, you know, so seeing all these Canadians come after that era, I think it's going to be even more as the, as the years go by, because you see, what, 20 Canadians, 25 Canadians yeah. in the league right now, maybe it's going to be 40 in the next 10 years, so I think the basketball community is just con continually growing in Canada. Um, and then uh, finally, kind of like going into next season, of course, of course, there's lots of competition at Summer League alone, but is there anything in particular that you're working on that you're looking to tweak or improve and use these games for? I'm just trying to get more experience. You know, I played seven games, kind of just garbage minutes in the NBA. I'm just trying to get experience because the more experience I get, the more comfortable I get, the more, you know, just I can play my game. And, uh, you know, I'm obviously working on my shooting, working on my ball handling, but, you know, main thing, I just want experience so I can get comfortable out there.